Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to go through a practice video for naming and drawing branch chain carboxylic acids. Let's have a quick recap of the rules for naming branch chain carboxylic acids. The first rule is to find the longest chain which includes the carboxyl group. Then number that chain from that carboxyl group carbon. Identify your branches and their corresponding carbon numbers. And then name with the branches alphabetical using di and tri prefixes where there are multiples of the same branch. Let's look at a quick example. First of all, our longest chain, including the carboxyl group, is this one here of five carbons. So the base of the name is going to be pentanoic acid. We then number from the end with the carboxyl group, including that carbon, and then identify our branches. We have three branches on this molecule and they are all of the same type. They all contain one carbon, so our methyl branches. They're on carbons two, three, and four. So we put those numbers in at the start. We then need to use the prefix tri to say that we have three of them, followed by the name of the branch methyl. So altogether, this molecule is two, three, four, trimethyl pentanoic acid. Pause the video and try to name these five examples. Let's have a look at drawing branch chain carboxylic acids. The first rule is to start from the end of the name and draw the base carboxylic acid. Number from the carboxyl group carbon and then add branches onto the appropriate carbon numbers. You then need to add hydrogen atoms so that every carbon has four bonds. Let's look at this example. The base of the name is hexanoic acid. We have methyl branches and they are on numbers two, two, and four. If we start with six carbons for the hexanoic acid, and on carbon number one, we have the carboxylic acid group. We can then number the rest of the carbons and add in the three branches. We have a methyl group on two, a second methyl group on two, and another methyl group on number four. We can then go around the structure and fill in to make sure that every carbon has four bonds. Pause the video now and draw these carboxylic acids.
Thank you for watching my video. I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on Twitter at Miss Adams Chem for updates on new videos throughout the year and flashcards on Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry. Bye for now.